So hi everybody and welcome back. This is a C++ tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 81 and in this video we continue with our solution and I shifted here some uh, comments above and now we solve this uh, comment here which says ask user on all selected categories if we want to go back to selection screen or quit. And actually, this is something we already did in this tutorial, uh, not, yes, in this exercise. It is just asking the user again to select. And we created a select here on top, right? So what I did then is, okay, let's, let's create again a selection option. And this time just, I wrote here, as it is here out, choose number. This is the... Uh, info for the customer he should what he should do okay he should choose a number the next output says you have the option zero is back to categories and one is quit and then i also made one more line selected number where the user can see that he should type in here the number which he is going to select all right after this one I have to save this number in a variable so I create it here on top actually here again where I all created my local variables in int main again this int go uh, quit or category because the user can now um, choose and after this one I created just a if statement and this if statement will check now what the user has selected if he selected zero which means back to the categories then i will do this what i will explain to you in a moment or if he selected one just quit and quit means do nothing actually else if you should uh i made here an else if the reason for that is uh here you should do nothing and then just uh, exit the if statement which means the if starts here in this brackets it goes here 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 and then out to this next scope and then out of this scope and end the program for example but there is also an else statement and the else statement is for example wrong input but this one is not a real check because it is a check because this category was wrong at least you are printing out that anything is wrong but it's not a real check because you are not trying to give the customer a chance to re-enter something or like this so let's go to the true statement which was if go quit or category which means that was he selected okay i want go back to the categories to select a new category that would be zero and then i just said okay if this is equal to zero his selection then and this one looks very long but actually this what you see here is just a copy what we did here on top i just copied from this line uh yeah 95 all that what we already did just copy and paste it in our if statement because this is exactly the same thing but i made here a big big mistake so now it's our job to find a solution for my big big mistake but first of all what is the mistake let me demonstrate this code here my big mistake is let me start this one here so we have here our login account user okay is coder and a password okay my password is very very creative it's this one and then i get here a message choose a number to select a category okay i want information about my favorite books let's say zero and then you see all my favorite books are listed and uh, i can choose again something okay i can choose quit I'll go back that's nice let's let's go back i want to select something new and here i have now the option to select again a category that looks very fine 
but let's choose again zero just for test purposes and what happens now is the program stopped and actually i was expecting that it is asking me um, to choose a number again zero back to categories or to quit because the customer should decide to quit not the program in this case and yeah this is the mistake and how we can solve this actually let me explain you the mistake what it is because this is my solution and this means i made the mistake and i should find the mistake of course you can uh, try to find this mistake also it's uh, it's um, not too difficult but for a beginner it's very difficult because you have to see what i did here and actually let me continue of course if you want you can pause here and find my mistake uh, it's not too difficult but like i said for a beginner it's difficult because it's let's i give you a tip it is just a structure mistake so not really a error it is a error because just think how the program continues and then you should find the mistake okay that's for the tip if you want to uh, try to find a mistake here you can pause the video and i will continue so the mistake was like i said i just copied this one here and paste it in and that's not the mistake there is no problem in this code this worked very fine the point is after this here if this second uh second choose selection is finished the program continues regularly right which means it jumps out of this if statement the if statement is here it's finished this one it finished this one it's finished this one it checks this one which it is and in my case it was in this one which means it is not entering this one it is not entering this one and it's going to this uh scope after this one it's finished here's nothing then it's entering this scope and then it is just going to the next get char so you see it continued the program regularly and that's the problem and we have to bring it back uh, to the selection uh, point again and that was already the problem before how i can uh, bring it back to the selection point i solved it with a if and it looks it, it looks like this is not working because i can't do all timer if and then copy if and then copy if and then copy it this is not a solution this is just a continuous <laughs> continuing to find a solution so what is the solution and actually i'm not sure but i will try just a while loop why am i'm using here a while loop as long as the customer has not choose to quit it should jump to the top where he can choose a category right so a while loop is a very good candidate but the problem here is uh, where to do it now so let's that is the only task which we have here now and it is to find the place the right place in this code in my case okay here i choose go to back to the categories is here and then he choose here the number if he want to go back and here it's probably anywhere here is a good place and let's say if i would uh if i make it dependent on this variable let's see what happens i'm not sure if this is working perhaps i shift it later but i just say while while this one this entrance here let's copy this one here paste is not equal uh no while is not equal to one right this one as long this one is not equal to one one is our quit statement 
and zero is our uh, loop statement to just ask again all the things you should go and ask again so i want that you should ask all things again so and what i want to ask is actually that what i copied here in the if statement so i can just take all that what i copied here uh let's see what i copied there uh this 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 at least till this point all the switch uh, let me go it down why you are not <laughs> waiting all the switch i'm copying this copy this one here again and put it here in my while statement as long as and now i copy this one as long as this is one is equal oops perhaps i made a mistake as long as this is not equal one sorry i made here an equal one i need a not equal one because this is the reason i will jump and ask you all this here again then it will jump here it will jump down and then it will print out but i have here a mistake again because i must uh, ask this one again and this was coming after this break statement and i'm now worrying why we have not this one so which means i need also this one here again um let's copy this one here as well and then i go here down and say okay i'm going out of this one this is my while loop uh this looks a little bit hard but you see it is really just copying code from one place to another and yeah and then here it's asking again and here i have to write again of course this this one i have to copy to actually let's copy this one too Oops. and where is that it was here and this one is actually very important why is this one very important because this one is also my while condition so normally what we learned so far was i could use a while counter for example numbers and then i could increment this but this case is different here i don't increment anything i just compare a, a input and if the input is uh, not equal to one which means you have chosen zero to go back to the condition menu you should jump up and if it's zero you choose jump out and the if statement what i have here on the bottom is probably not needed anymore uh perhaps this wrong input here because this one i have not i have copied only to this point and yes so this one i have to think again a little bit but let's deselect this code and think later because we have to test first this code what we have so far let's test if this working if it's working till this point if i have my loop here right you can just test it if it's work you take it if it's not working we have to change it so let's write coder i write my password i select my favorite books okay i can select now quit or go back let's go back and now i can select again my books and that looks good and i can go back okay i go back again and i can select again a category let's select this one this time okay that looks also good i can go back nice and this time i select this category too whoa that looks really nice so interesting so all i could right now select all categories i could go back all time and now i want quit i want to see if i can quit i'm finished and i'm finished 
And I don't know how, but it works. Yes. Which means uh, the only rotating point was here why I have not this wrong input. This one is clear. We replace this one with the number one. But now we have no check for wrong input. But I, in general, I said that we will not check for wrong inputs in this one. You can try it, of course, and you will learn a lot if you try, because it's not easy to check all cases. And if you do this, you will write a lot of code, but you will write use a lot of keywords and train them but in my case all that what i wrote here down uh, that was most time anyway a copy i don't need i just get rid of this one this is working that's fine so i solved this with a while loop but important this while loop is this time not an incrementer like we used in a for loop we incremented all time a number this time we checked a condition and interesting is this condition is all time set new here on the last line. The set is the condition here. He can choose uh, 0 or 1. This is our condition later if we quit or if we continue with the loop. That was here the key point. And with that said, we are almost finished. Let's see if we are going for the other ones too. Give the user free chances, uh, free chances to enter the right username and password. All right, I think this one uh, create a account and if the counter in free close the option to enter password and username. I think this one I will skip and I but I think I will give you a hint how you can solve this one very very easy. The easy hint is just uh. Uh, just wrap all this thing what we have so far just all this kind of thing uh, da -da 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 here make and put all this code what you have so far in an I think really all here or perhaps all uh, not really all sorry we we have from the point here you can make here what i want to uh, let me show you this in the next video sorry i will show you this in the next video as well because it is just a check a if check and you check it three times and then all this code uh, you wrap it into a if and then you check if he doing not all the code i think that was the problem because just this little code here on top you check if he's typing in this three times wrong so just here on top you wrap it in a if and then if it's uh, typing in three times the wrong code then you close all this one but i will show you this one also in the next video and yeah, if you have any comments or questions, ask like all time. And if not, good luck. And I hope you have a better code than me, because then you learn much more than me. All right, that's it. See you in the next video and good luck. Bye.